Alright, so I'm going to show you how to use the pads and the keys as separate instruments on the Akai MPK216 and Logic Pro. Um, so, we got some tracks up right now, so I'm just going to select two, two for the sake of demonstration. Um, so, first of all, on the, on the uh, Akai uh, MPK216, <clears throat> you have go to edit. And then uh, it shows you the channel. When you uh, hit something, it'll select. It'll select that to edit it. So where pads are on channel 10, MIDI channel 10, and keys are on MIDI channel 1. Uh, in this case, the A and the B don't make uh, don't they don't uh, make a difference. Just the numbers. So. Uh, so then we're gonna go we're gonna go over here and uh, we got a piano track I'm gonna do a piano drum track so over here what you do is you go to MIDI channel it'll say all by default usually so since the pads are the pads are channel 10 the keys are 1 so since the pads are, um, since the keys are channel one, we're gonna make that say MIDI channel one for the key track, for the track key that you wanna control with the keys, and then, uh, or the instrument you wanna control with the keys. And then here we have the drum track. It says um, MIDI channel all, and we're gonna do that on channel uh, 10. And then you'll actually see it says now it says channel 10 by the drums and channel 1 by the piano and um, so now uh, so now actually it doesn't work yet see so it, it's you usually this is what it does before you do that it, and then also drums um, and if I go to the piano Piano, piano. So, uh, what we do to put it in effect is you have to uh, record enable both tracks. So, now you have piano record enabled and drums record enabled. Okay. Now you can. I do it. Pads are controlling the uh, drum, the um, drum instrument, and the keys are controlling the piano instrument. And you can uh, you can uh, control separate instruments with the pads and the keys.